One of the most noticeable things with Excel 2010 is the replacement of the menu bar with what is now called the ribbon, which is this large panel that resides at the top of your screen. The ribbon is arranged in various tabs. I'm currently in the Home tab, but you have an Insert tab, a Page Layout tab, and so on. So I'll go back to the Home tab. Each tab is then broken into various groups. For example, this is the clipboard group, and it sort of has an embossed border around the outside. This is the font group, with this embossed border, and this is the alignment group, and the number group. Within each group are a series of commands. For example, we have font, font size, bold, italics, and underline. The thing you'll notice with 2010 also are the screen tips are far more elaborate than they were in 2003 and they tell you so much more about what a command is capable of, which is helpful to understand what the various commands are for. Now within the bottom right corner of some of these groups, such as clipboard and font, you'll see a little arrow. This is known as the dialog box launcher. So technically, on the Home tab in the Font group, I'll hit the Font dialog box launcher. What this does by clicking this option is it launches the dialog box that used to be available in 2003. In 2003, we used to choose Format from the menu and then Cells in Font, and we'd be taken to the Font options. If I cancel this and I hit the Alignment dialog box launcher, this takes me to Format Cells Alignment just like 2003. And this particular arrow takes me to the Format Cells Number dialog box. So the dialog box launches are very useful when you need options above and beyond the various commands that are in that group. Now one particular phone call or email I still regularly receive is people losing the ribbon. And how they're achieving this accidentally or otherwise is they're accidentally double clicking one of the ribbon tabs. For example, if I double click the Home tab, I'll effectively minimize my ribbon. If I double click the Home tab again, I'll bring my ribbon back. So if you happen to lose your ribbon, simply double click the tab and bring it back. Now in the same way that we could customize the Quick Access Toolbar, you can also customize the ribbon. There are a variety of ways that you can do this, but I'm going to click on the File tab in the ribbon, which is known as Backstage. If I click on File, I'll then click the command Options. From here on the left hand side, I can customize the ribbon. Here's the ribbon as it stands at the moment, but there's nothing to stop you from creating your own new tabs and naming them what you want them to be called, and adding your own groups within your own tabs. What I'd recommend is that you actually tick one of the tabs that's not shown by default. When I look up here in the background, I can see I don't have a tab called Developer. But if I come down to this particular window and tick Developer, and then click OK, I now have a Developers tab. The Developers tab is very useful for those Excel users who like to work with macros, or like to work with code, or like to work with forms and controls. So I'd recommend you turn the Developers tab on, and then I'll go back home.